What's up, fishies? Uh, <laughs> this will be a sorry, my my. Talking Tuesday. Uh, you know, it's something that a lot of people, I mean, those close to me know this. Uh, I, I suffer from anxiety and depression. And I, I do take stuff for it, uh, over-the-counter supplements, and the main reason that I take over-the-counter supplements is for the fact that prescriptions tend to make things worse, and, you know, I, I realize that a lot of you that you know, watch my videos, probably suffer from the same thing. You're not alone. You know, in society today, you know, we, those of us that do have mental health issues, tend to get ignored or stigmatized for it. And it's not right. There needs to be more done to assist those with mental health issues. And today is one of my bad days. I mean, it's not as bad as it can be, but it's still a bad one. And the reason it's a bad one is today's one of those days that I just really don't feel like going out, you know, going and doing anything. I've got a list of mile long of things that, you know, I need to be doing today. And I can't find the, I guess, the will to go do it. You know, the want to. And it's hard. And I'm, I'm not even sh really sure why I'm doing this video. I guess because of the simple fact that sometimes, you know, saying it out loud can make it better you know to talk about it you know get it off your chest you know and it's it's something that i've dealt with for a very long time and i mean there's some days that honestly i'm i'm able to fake it and make it through and i i really hate those days because I shouldn't have to do that. And I know, you know, in the majority of my videos, you know, y'all see me, you know, hey, you know, I've got a smile on my face. And there's been a few times that, you know, I wasn't having that great of a day and I had to fake it. And I, I hate that. You know, I, I have things to do that, you know, Sometimes the medication just doesn't really do its job the way it should. And, you know, there's tons of things, of you know, resources available online, you know, to help combat depression and anxiety. You know, I've, I've tried the hotlines. And, of 
course, I usually get stuck with somebody that just sounds like they're there for a paycheck. You know, I'm not knocking them. I'm not. I get it. But these types of issues, they're hard to deal with. I mean, the smallest things can trigger it. You know, jury weather, you know, you hear a certain song, you know, it's a certain time of the year. Uh, today's just one of those days that I call it, I call it a toy, a coin toss day. And what that means is it could end up getting better or it could go horribly wrong. And I end up having an episode. And I don't like having episodes. I mean, used to episodes, you know, I, I, I knew if they were coming on that I'd be able to go hide in the corner somewhere. And just let it happen. And sometimes that's all you can do. And then there's other times that it gets to a point where it's just. It's so incredibly bad that. It comes out and it happens in public and people see you. Which makes it ten times worse. Because. When it happens you can't control it. And it just, it makes everything 10 times worse. Um, and today's one of those days. Uh, my episodes... Most of the time, you know, I can hold a con intelligent conversation, no problem. You know, you you've seen me talk in my videos. You know, I'm I'm usually pretty calm, cool, able to communicate. But when I have an episode, one of a few things happen. One. I have a severe stuttering problem, which aggravates me to no end. And the aggravation of it ramps up the episode. And I, I could start crying, and I hate crying. I absolutely hate it. Like, when I get really mad, you know, when I was born, they had to open my tear ducts because I couldn't cry. And now I could cry at the drop of a hat. You know, I just think about something that, you know, is really sad to me. And I could start crying on cue. I mean, and I hate that, especially when, when I'm in a fight scenario. Like, I get so mad, I start crying. And, of course, you know, it just... It, when I'm having an episode, it makes it ten times worse. And... Another one of the issues is basically... Talking like the Micro Machine Man. Like, I either... Severely stutter, or... I start talking so fast that people can't understand me, and if they can't understand me, then it just it becomes very irritating, and it fuels the rage, I guess you could say. And I mean, no two people experience this 
type of thing the same way. I mean, and, you know, my BFF got diagnosed with anxiety and depression. And I knew for years that, you know, I battled with depression. You know, and I, and I always had some sort of a creative outlet to circumvent the issue. And in recent years, it's gotten even harder to combat it. And that's when I started going to the over-the-counter supplements for stress and anxiety. And, I mean, most days they work, you know. I, I take them daily. And, you know, for the most part they do work. But there are days like today that they just... As the old saying goes, they're not cutting the mustard. And it makes it super hard to function. Because it's just like, you know, I need to be making phone calls for videos. But I just, I don't feel like talking to people today. You know, it's, it's that level. I mean, you know, I, I thought... You know, after I took my meds, you know, maybe it would be a little better. You know, give them, give them a cool minute to kick in. And I found myself endlessly scrolling through Facebook reels. You know, and occasionally, you know, I see a video that got me laughing. But the minute it was over, so was the laughter. And that's how I knew that, oh, great. It's going to be one of those days. And, I mean, normally I wouldn't do this type of video. You know, I wouldn't put this out there. But, you know, a lot of the reels that I scrolled across today, you know, were similar. You know, and I mean, I know I'm not alone. But days like today, that knowledge still doesn't help. And it sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's basically one of those days where I just want to lock myself off in a room like this. You know, turn everything off, all the lights, the sound, complete sensory deprivation to try and combat the episode. And sometimes that's the only thing that I can do. You know, and, you know, some people, they use sleep as a way to combat it. And, you know, a lot of times, even I do that, you know, I will sleep more because if I'm asleep, maybe I can get my brain to shut off, you know, just long enough that I can get some peace. But then there's days like today that, you know, I, I know no matter what I do, you know, it's, it's just, <laughs> it's not really going to work. And, you know, it, it adds to the anxiety, the aggravation of it. And, <sighs> it's one of those days that it's just, there's so much going on up here. And my brain just, it, it doesn't want to process it properly. You know? I mean, I even went to my favorite place, got my favorite meal. You know, to see if that would help. And 
it didn't. You know, and <laughs> you know, I, I laugh at myself about it because I know that I seem ridiculous about it. You know, that this kind of stuff shouldn't happen. You know, I've, I've taken all the steps, you know, to combat it, and it still doesn't really help. You know, and, and for those out there going through this, honestly, I hope this video can show you that, you know, hey, you know, I'm not the only one because sometimes that alone can help. You know, other times, it don't. And I know I'm not alone. You know, I, I could count off 10 people, you know, within my circle that suffer the exact same thing on a daily basis. And... But when you, when you find yourself at a loss of, you know, how to fight off something like this, it makes it really hard. And... One of the biggest problems that I found is a lot of people want to downplay it. Oh, you're fine. You just need to suck it up. You need to do this. You need to do that. And I can't stand it when people do that. You know, they... To me, that says they don't care. You know, they think it's... Just something that can be fixed with you know, thinking different, and sometimes it can, but most of the time it can't, you know, and there's days that, you know, I just want to scream at the world, all my eyes out, you know, Sit there and pound my fist into a wall until they bleed. You know, that's that's what goes through my head. You know, try anything and everything to get it out, you know, to make it right, make it over with, you know, to to get back to feeling normal. And normal's overrated. And, you know, before people start dropping comments, you know, oh, you know, get, get your medical marijuana. Well, here's the problem with that. That's how I used to deal with it. You know, I, I could smoke and I'd be all right for a while. that's not an option anymore and that's part of the problem you know it got to a point that it got so bad even that wasn't helping anymore and you know I'm a big advocate for you know medical marijuana you know I'm not big you know I, I understand the recreational side of the argument but for medicinal purposes, I am completely fine with it. But what I'm not okay with in the medical industry is the prices. You know, granted, back in the day, I never paid for a single thing. 
I just had great friends that shared and that was it. So, you know, my mindset on prices could be, you know, very askew. And I have no problem with the medical use, you know, just recreational, I have issue with, and, you know, that could, you know, cause a lot of issues on here. And, you know, if that upsets you, I'm sorry. You know, I know too many people that use marijuana to curb depression and anxiety. And I know there's going to be a lot of people that say, but it's a depressant. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Marijuana can and does affect parts of the brain to help it relax and not be overwhelmed by everything else around you. And I'm talking from experience. I mean, I have, and I mean, yes, this is a family friendly channel, but this is another reason why I'm doing this video. It's because people need to understand that everybody has issues. And a lot of these issues you may not see the signs. Like me, I start having nervous tics. You know, my hands, you know, I, I do exercises. You know, things like this right here to try and combat an episode. You know, I basically don't breathe. I'll take a breath and I will hold it for a long time and just be absolute silent. And, you know, I, I pop my knuckles. I know I shouldn't do that. But I do, I do multiple things to try and, you know, rewind my brain to steer it away from the issues, to try and help, I guess you could say reset, to factory settings to where I won't have an episode. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, it's, and when I'm in danger of having an episode, there's so many little tiny things that could just cause me to have an absolute meltdown. And I, I'm a strange duck anyways. You know, I'm not wired like most people. You know, I, I've never been normal in my entire life. I mean, it's like I can't read sheet music, but yet you can show me something multiple times, like on a keyboard, on a guitar, you know, you name it. And you show me enough times, I could turn around and do it. You know, and it's how I've learned a lot of things, you know, by watching it being done. And, you know, I, <sighs> sorry. brain kind of went squirrel there for a second. Uh, wow. Totally lost.
lost my train of thought there. Um, I'm trying really hard not to cuss right now. <laughs> That's where my brain's going. You know, situation like this, I typically, you know, Scream yellow profanities, you know, trying to, because it's, sometimes it's the only way I can actually get things out. Um, wow. Might need to look at that later. Sorry, I know something on the ceiling. Uh, another issue is focus. Uh, days like these, I have a hard time focusing on one thing in particular because my mind it sees this, 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 and it tries to cover everything at once. Uh, Another really bad part of it. Uh, of course, you know, if I was having a good day, I wouldn't be having, wouldn't be sitting here doing this video. You know, I'd probably be doing a happier video. And if it's bringing you down, I apologize. You know, I think that honestly, the world needs a. A hell of a lot more honesty than what it currently has especially when it comes to transparency you know mental health you know emotional health all of that you know we just we we need to get rid of the stigmatism with it you know we need to take a step back I think, what would I do if I was experiencing that? And ask yourself, you know, would I act any differently? You know, how upset would I be if somebody came at me like that? You know, and like I said earlier, you know, everybody's different. Yes, there's a lot of similar things that happen. And that's kind of how I've gotten, you know, a little bit of a support network around me is the fact that, you know, it's all people that have experienced similar to what I have. And, of course, you know, one of them's about to be going overseas. You know, I'm on vacation, so it ain't like, you know, I could just, you know, Run holler at him and be like, you know, hey, bro, look, it's it's one of those days, man. You know, one that I normally talk to, you know, that normally calls me every morning, didn't call me this morning, which, you know, I sometimes that even that affects things. Cause you know I get I get worried, you know, especially with other things that's things that are going on right now in my life, things that I'm worried about, dreams I'm having that are disturbing that you know could be problematic. You know, if they actually happen. You know, and a lot of that a lot of that affects episodes, you know, can, can even trigger them to a degree. Uh, you know, if, if, if you're experiencing things like this, 
you know, whether you're feeling like you're grasping at straws, reach out to somebody you trust. You know, go to the nearest facility, you know, counseling facility and be like, hey, I need help. You know, I mean, There's no permanent fix for it, you know, at least as far as I know, there's not, as far as my, you know, inner circle knows, there's not, you know, it's all temporary, you know, and yeah, that really doesn't help, you know, stating that fact, but I keep hoping that one day they will find something that, you know, is a better solution to the problem. I mean, I don't know, I'm kind of rambling, I guess. I don't think I tend to do. It's just... I don't know, maybe I, maybe I do need to just, you know, put the headphones in and put some tunes on and just sit in a dark room for a few hours, you know, see if it helps. Uh, honestly, right now, I'm, I'm really wanting to turn that light out just because it's kind of being aggravating. And... Never be ashamed to reach out for help. And I say that because no matter what the situation, whether it's anxiety, it's depression, you're being abused physically, verbally, reach out for help. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try and make sure to include some links in the description of this video you know, to help people that need help, you know, and I'll try and post every single form of help there is out there, because the longer we stay quiet about it, the worse it's going to get. And part of me hates saying that, but it's the truth. You know, the longer we sit on our hands, keep our mouths closed, and do nothing to bring attention to it, the worse it's going to get. It, it will never get better if we don't speak up. When we need to speak up about stuff, we need to speak up about it. You know, it's just like if somebody was... being verbally or physically abusive. You know, abuse is abuse. You know, uh, withholding somebody's phone, you know, their car keys, you know, not allowing them to go do anything, you know, telling them what they're gonna wear, you know, and how to wear it. And that's abuse. You know, a lot of things can be triggered by previous incidents as a child. And we don't realize it until we get older and spend thousands of dollars talking to a psychiatrist about it. And of course, you know, psychiatry is ranked pretty high in the suicide category. You know, along with dentists, believe it or not. And I mean, I can, I can understand it, you know, right up there with lawyers as well. And mental health is part of your overall health. You know, if your mental health isn't good, your physical health won't be good either. And, 
you know, people can argue with me all day long that emotional health and mental health, they're not the same thing. They are two separate issues. Granted, yes, they are affected by each other. And they also affect physical health. You know, it's it's like churches, you know, talking about spiritual health. Well, that's another one. It is separate from emotional, mental, and physical health. And if all those things can't align, then you're not being healthy. And if you're not healthy, it's not good, right? It's getting hot in this room, so I'm just going to wrap this up right here. You know, hopefully I've said something that, you know, helps somebody somewhere. You know, if you feel that, you know, this video could help somebody that you know, it is your duty to share it with them. You know, if you know somebody's hurting and they need help, help them. Because if you don't, if you sit back and do nothing, You're more part of the problem than the solution. I mean, that's my personal opinion about it. You know, those that stand by and do nothing or ignore it, you know, they're they're more a part of the problem than the solution. And if you're not sure how to handle so something like that, I mean, we have Google. Use it. Type in the symptoms. You know, do the research. You know, try to be helpful. And sometimes, you know, just listening is the greatest help you can give. You know, I mean, I, I'm one of those people that, you know, I'll sit there and listen. You know, if I think I can offer some kind of helpful advice, I do. You know, if I don't, you know, I still sit there and listen. You know, let, let the person know that you hear them. You know, and sometimes it's the best thing in the world you can do. But I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to go turn the lights out, put my headphones in, and... Hopefully make it a better day after all. Until next time, much love. Rock on. Peace out, everybody. Hope you have a blessed week.